Hey! Please do not go out of your way to harass the user in question. Also, note that this channel is based off satirical humor. We tend to say a lot of crude things, so if you don't enjoy extremely rude humor, then we suggest you click away while you still can. Thank you. Requests are closed. If you know that requests are closed, please do not send us in your requests so we have it for when we open them again. Please wait till we make an announcement saying requests are open. Thank you. Hello everybody, I'm Eugene. And I'm Muffin. And welcome back to another profile review, finally, after like 3 million freaking years. This video is on Jelly Buns Deviant Art Profile. They specifically sent us some pictures from the profile for us to review, so we'll be focusing on those for this video. The first picture we have here is their star progression picture from 2015 to 2016. Starting off with the looks, I really like this. Your art style was very cute back in 2015, but it's really good to see that your talents have grown over the years, and to be able to see just how far they've grown. You've gotten much better at drawing hair in the way to make it look natural and flowing, and you've gotten better at anatomy and drawing the body in a healthy, natural way so that the arms and legs and waist don't just look like bone thin. Your shading has also gotten better, lighter, and more natural, and I love the way you draw this character's eyes now. I would like to see a 2017 picture sometime, just to see how our talents have grown even within the time span of this year. But for now, I think this is really good. Moving on to the next picture. I think I've actually seen this one floating around DA before, when, you know, you can scroll through, um, like, browse or whatever and meet and see new artists' pictures. Yeah. I think I've seen this one. While I don't really watch Steven Universe, I've watched about 12 episodes, I think. Uh, so I have no idea who this is. I still appreciate how well done this picture is. I like the colors in this picture, and I love the shading you did, especially around her neck and her collarbones. I do think her jaw looks a bit oddly chiseled, but that could just be the way this character's jaw looks normally. Not, like, not with the excessive detail of the chisel, but yeah, she's definitely more of a masculine. Okay. Moving on to the third one. I know this is another gem from SU. I'm not sure who this is either, but either way, I think this is also adorable. The only things I can really find a critique on this picture is that, one, the detail in the hair, I, I don't think it really fits with the rest of the body. You go from a cartoonish body to a really, you know, detailed, more natural-looking hair piece, and it's throwing me off a bit. <laughs> And two, while this isn't a big deal, I, do, I did feel like I needed to point something out about this. I would like to see you branch out and try something other than just a simple design for your background. I, you know, we've looked through your profile besides the pictures you sent us, and there are a few where you take great detail into the background, and I would like to see that with more of your pictures. Now, there is one thing that confuses me a tad with this picture. Why is there a little heart in Peridot's mouth? Like, is it supposed to refer to how much Peridot loves those little alien plushies without actually having text in the picture? It's not bad that it's there, it's just kinda... just kinda odd. And it threw me off a tad. And I believe this is our final picture. This is gonna be more on the short side for our videos, but that's okay. Again, I want to start off with saying that this is an amazing picture. I love how well blended the colors in the hoodie are, and I just love how this character looks in general. Right now, there are only two things in the picture that really throw me off. First off is the sleeves. If you look at this one, you can see that it still gives off this baggy look, but it's not like an extremely oversized baggy. While if you look at the other sleeve, it looks like it's a completely different size from the other. Now, you can either make the one really baggy sleeve look less baggy, or make the thinner sleeve look a lot more baggy than it currently is, because it just, just the style consistency is off with the sleeves mm -hmm. a bit, but that's, it's fine, not, not like a huge thing. Second thing is the leg. To me, it just looks really unnatural and broken, and like it's twisted at an, at an angle leg shouldn't be twisted at. Perhaps you were trying to go for a more realistic look with this leg, but I feel like it would be better if you just went for a more simplistic look for the bend of the leg. Okay, look, I'm not the best at explaining things, so I'm just gonna have Muffin throw in some pictures to maybe get my point across better. Maybe. Maybe I'll just put cat pictures up, you'll never know. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Moving on 
of the Battle Thoughts! Overall, all the pieces you sent us to critique were really good. I like your art style, and after looking through your gallery a bit more, I do think you found a nice midpoint of doing you art for fandoms you're in, and then art for your own characters and your own joy, like that. The only problems we could really find with the art is that for, you know, every once in a while there are a few anatomy problems, or in some ways that clothing hangs off your character a little odd, you know, not how clothing usually hangs, and some detail problems in the hair or in the background. But again, overall, I do think this is a good profile you're running here. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm Eugene. And I'm Muffin. And we are Constructive Criticism. Sorry this was so short, but we will see you next time.